Welcome back to three news. Got our tower cam back and uh, we're seeing some hazy skies out across South Texas on this Saturday morning. Temperatures are in the low 80s, mostly cloudy is what we're calling it at the airport and especially here in town. South one at seven miles per hour. And that's bringing in the dew points and that's in the upper 70s right now. And that's pretty much as high as we get around here near 80. 81 is uh, typically how humid it can really get here in South Texas. And as far as dew points are concerned, temperatures in the mid to upper 70s out to our northwest 76 clocking in. Over in Mathis, 78 over in Beeville, low 80s out to our south and west in the brush country. So uh, not a big uh, spread in our temperatures out across uh, the area this morning. South winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. We'll watch these winds actually give us a nice breeze later on this afternoon. Sustained up to about 20 to 25 with some gusts up to 30 miles per hour. So we'll take what we can get in the wind department. And as far as rain, yeah, Beeville and George West did see uh, some rumbles of thunder earlier this morning, but uh, kind of died out as far as uh, a lot of the activity out to our north and west. And a lot of it is coming out from the west near the Rio Grande, also from the northern mountains of Mexico. A lot of this activity is very isolated as it crosses the border. As it moves through Laredo and also I-35, uh, kind of loses some muscle because uh, we do have conducive conditions as far as isolated showers going through this weekend and also into early next week as well. But, uh, you know, it's going to be slim to none. Coverage isn't going to be too impressive as we have good southwest flow aloft. And what that's going to do is kind of send ripples of energy our way in the next couple days, and that'll ignite some isolated showers in this forecast. Speaking of, yep, some showers pushing through uh, San Antonio earlier yesterday morning and also this morning as well. Some showers out to our south and west. But uh, the big story, the heat advisories out to our south in the Rio Grande Valley and also towards Laredo. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if these uh, advisories get extended for our forecast area because it's going to be hot, it's going to be humid, but we're also going to see some more cloud cover, a very similar day compared to yesterday. Out to the north is the severe weather risk. We're not looking at any uh, chance at severe weather, uh, but we will have an isolated chance at showers and storms through the next four to five days. As I mentioned, coverage is going to be very low, not expecting anything widespread or even heavy for that matter, but we will have that very slim rain chance because uh, the atmosphere is conducive for uh, isolated showers. So we'll watch future cast roll you throughout the next six to eight hours. Mostly cloudy temperatures are in the low 80s. Very small pockets of light showers could pop up, um, but remember, I don't expect it to be very widespread and some uh, bigger storms out to our north and west uh, later on this afternoon and it's gonna be a nice day to go to the beach some peaks and sunshine mostly cloudy temperatures at least air temperatures in the low to mid 90s uv index will be high so make sure you have the sunscreen sunblock handy water temperatures are in the low to mid 80s rope current risk will be mid to high so uh, just keep that in mind if you're heading out with the family seven day forecast showing the big picture uh, isolated showers through about tuesday as i mentioned not a lot of activity. Not everyone will see rain. However, I do think Tuesday, uh, Monday night and a Tuesday will be our best shot at some uh, scattered rain chances in this forecast. Otherwise, more Saharan dust comes into this forecast by later on next week with temperatures topping out in the low to mid 90s. Brian. Oh.